Hey Grubs, I wonder if you've ever eaten any product that contains marijuana and what's the taste? No, I haven't. Just because I'm Dutch, uh, right? You. That's a stereotype. Paying my ad block tax. Enjoy. Less than three. <laughs> I very much appreciate the sentiment, Demon Ice. Thank you for the eight dollars. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? Hi, Dan. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's scary. This is um this is a good map for this for this gal. Is it solo queue? Uh, I'm double queuing with yellow flash. Is on. I know Neuralisk, but I don't know how to edit it. Weird, right? The swarm indoors. She's not on 2k or free week. Yeah, I know, but I just spent 7k gold to purchase hammer. How about an every hero to level 10 challenge? I've thought about it, Astakopi, and it seems pretty fun. But let's just give you a taste of what we would be playing. Gaul, Gul'dan, Ariel. Okay, Ariel seems good. Gul'dan, happy to do so. Gaul, eh. Uh, Tracer, ugh. Chromie, uh, Darka, uh, Rexar. Mm. And then you've got Medivh, mm. Morales, yeah. Cho, uh, and then you've got Zul, yeah, okay. And Karazim, yeah. So there's a number of mess. Because I'm not very good at them, like the Haka and Tracer. And then Cho and Gaul is like hard to kind of get all the way to level 10. But the others are kind of okay. But mostly it would take quite a while to actually play that many. Aloha Grubby, I'm decent at healing with all heroes at my level besides Aria. What should I look for at my replays to really improve my play? Because I feel like I'm stuck and because I can't play much better. Looks like it forces some more losses than there should be in fights. How about doing this? And I'm not saying that this is the end all be all Resicon. But how about doing this simple exercise? Every time, after you healed someone, check if it saves them from death. Or if it was just because you like filling glasses with water. You know what I mean? Because if you're Uther, for instance, Hell, it's not just about 100% of your heal gets value. You're actually healing that many hit points, but who did you heal? And then check during the time where your next cooldown is charging up. Check Ready to see to if Utah, someone else dies back. because of your choice. Just every single heal, see if it was justified or if there was a better target. That's it. Don't worry about cooldowns, positioning, every just that single exercise. Are you prioritizing your heals effectively? Or are you just Reckoning keeping yourself hand. busy? It's just one of the many exercises you can do to evaluate your own play. Thank you, uh, Jakubisko88, less than three. Uh, we got a really good comp, actually. One mage, one support, double warrior, and an auto attacker. Hopefully your team protects you. Well, I've got Siku, 
uh, Shihu on my team, who is uh, a bit of a pro player actually. I played with him yesterday or the day before and he was very good. I think he was Muradin. And Darksider, I'm pretty familiar with him as well. I think my team is going to play very admirably. So the onus and the burden is on me to do the same. Fun battle, I can tell. Shiku Pro Land. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Advanced Artillery will be best. It's gonna add more damage on the Immortal. Actually, I should be in the in the quad lane. Got about five seconds until enemy ETA. There we go. And here they are. Ready to drop the hammer. This'll be a flash. Rock and roll. Four one is an okay score. I always forget that, grouping up for uh, Karazim's heals. Ready to drop the hammer. I, never tread lightly. I think that Muradin is taking a little bit too much damage for free. As a warrior, you want to take damage that normally would go to your allies. You don't want to take unnecessary damage. Of course he's got that lovely trait that heals him up for free. Uh, there we go. I take unnecessary damage. I think I want to go get set up. I'm gonna go for the fountain. No setup because they're defending. What did Yellow Flash take one? Inside. Thank you. Inside, of course. Mahalo. Mahalo. Resika. Thank you, man. I didn't have to check who that was, neither. Focused attack. Ah, very good. It'll be very good if we can finish this. Looks like we do. Good job, allies. Because I, I was a little bit worried about this one. Oh, nice healing ward. The cool thing is with hammer, you're outside of the range of the uh, stunts, even the outer circle. So it's very easy to just take position. And there's so many exploit locations. If I am here, I can also hit the Immortal. So safe. Such a good map for Hammer. Now I'm just gonna go push with it and let someone else do the solo lane. We should have one top, but even if we five man group with it, which would be a strategical mistake in essence, it's still okay because that is gonna get so much value. Nice finish, Muradin. Very nice. Sayonara, suckers. Did you see that? Focus attack worked on everything. 40 bonus damage to everything. That is so nice. Did you also know that focus attack procs off of auto attacks? I mean, it re it comes back quicker after auto attacks. Which also means if your auto attack splashes, you get an instant revive on it. That's why out of three attacks, I just did two focus attacks. Boom, another focus attack. Um, do we go for more slow? 
Let's try it out. More slow for a longer duration. No, we have enough slows. Let's get hyper cooling. Nice pet shop. Nice pet shop. The reason I take hyper cooling, it's the best one if you ever want to siege up. And this is a siege map. Why is it the best? Because generally the rule with Sergeant Hammer is do not siege up if you don't have your thrusters available. Right? So if you follow that rule, you can always thrust out of trouble. But if you don't, you'll pay for it. And the, why would I want to siege up all the time? Actually, as a pro hammer, you will try to avoid uh, sieging up in team fights. However, that changes because this is Battlefield of Eternity. And you're so strong against the objective with siege that you want to siege more often than you would on, for instance, a Cursed Hollow. Until you get graduating range, of course. What I do. Bring this fort to ruin. Move it or lose it. Move it or lose it. Okay, so what we're doing here is securing level ten, so that. Yes, they're getting 50% on the Immortal, but we're going to win it because we're much stronger. And then we can push with level 10, which could be game ending. I go for a Napalm Strike. No fancy pantsy here. Get in siege range and then take it down. Check the HP bar of your immortal, they're not damaging it. Damaging it. It's all good. Now we have to defend again. Got it. Oh, close. Oh, they got the immortal. Damn. Dirty back doors. <laughs> All right, so they actually did get it. No. Lol. So remember, don't see each other if you don't have your thrusters. So we didn't quite get as much value as we'd like. <laughs> Because they actually very cleverly sniped away the immortal. In my sights. Let's rain down some hail fire. I'm just waiting for a bow roll. We just need to not get uh, mauled.
Oh, storm, earth, and fire. All right. Cool. I feel them all coming. I wonder if my teammates are thinking about the same thing. Guess not. They grouped up. At least Tyrael didn't uh, have time. Oh, nice divine form. That's that saves us. Get the glow. Whenever you see your whole team is in trouble, I know it seems weird, but redirect your focus fire to um, the wizard minion, as that will suddenly allow you to get a globe that heals your teammates for a pretty good amount of damage. HP. You can't heal for damage, obviously. Good heal, kid. Keep it up. I got this. Huh. I clipped him with it. Oh, he's dead. I'm gonna go for the fountain. Actually, I don't have time. That's the problem. Li Ming is still there. Chen is dead. Looks like we're gonna give this one away. Unnecessary, actually. But so be it. You know they're gonna go for the globe so you can get a free napalm strike. Uh, SS means missing. It's the middle two letters of missing. So whenever you see that one of the heroes in your lane goes missing, you type SS as a courtesy to your teammates. Oh wow, that sank! Oh damn it. Oh damn it. That sank was incredible. The Ancestral definitely was not going to... Oh wow, he has the smite talent. Because Divine Palm was available, he just didn't know he was going to get chunked by it. Oh, if we lose this, it'll be a really big comeback. That Ancestral was not going to proc without Sanct. She clipped Sanct. And then she got saved. That was beautiful. Now we're going to lose this keep. There's no way around it. I see it as a um, attack me place. Hoping that maybe it'll save the keep. It worked, but I also almost died. Oh, <gasps> they're so low, oh my god. Oh, they made the comeback. And now we are actually fairly much down. XP a bit down. I think that's Chen dead, maybe. Alright, that's our cue to leave. They still see me, by the way. So, if I stay too much... Well, actually, I don't mean I, I stay too much. It's all of us here. It's kind of okay. Got Rhaegar. Cool. Yeah. yeah, 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 we're getting carried away. Good call. Oh. day. You siege up because sieging up does bonus damage to PvE. 
chances are very big if I siege here that I'll be in range. Only if it's top, I'll be not be okay. Wait, didn't I siege? We are actually very close to getting the Immortal, so we're actually all fine. They are up a talent and up two heroes, so if we don't go too ham, I should have no problem taking this down. Uh, I do like 600 damage per Napalm Strike, so I only need four Napalm Strikes on it. That's one. Oh, I didn't press my R. No, 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 no. no. Stone skin. Hey. Stone skin saved me. Stone skin saved me. Woo. I took stone skin legit only for surviving. Otherwise I would have gone graduating or something. But, um, I think I'll be late there. The Immortal is going to be dead. I'm going to get XP. It's nice that we got it and that we got keep damage. But that's pretty much all we can hope for now. Any reason for not taking first aid? Yeah, I want to siege up more often. Sieging is what I do. Uh, taking first, taking the hypercooling thrusters allows you to uh, siege up more often. Not bad, not bad. Two for two so far. Very wonky fight. <laughs> Ducking Muta. Uh, wow, it's a very low death game. 11-9. I want to take this mercenary camp. I wanted uh, executioner. I just, but I just wanted to stay alive there. Hey, parallels, what's up, man? Long time no see. Oh no, we are doing a camp during this. That is not good. I wonder if I should attack. We probably we should defend. We should focus Rhaegar. No, we should be focusing Rhaegar. Why are we keep going for Tyrael? There we go. That's it. Legit, we've been focusing Tyrael so much, it's not even funny. But I was part of that too. I was doing the same thing. I don't want to say something like we're focusing Tyrael too much. Because this kind of thing. Oh. Uh oh. 
It's not me that has to do it. I'm too good on the Immortal. That is a lot of core damage. Can someone stop this already? We're losing our core, legit. Uh, it's just gonna die. Legit, it should not be me. Because I don't have a mount. And I'm too good on the Immortal. They could just all in it now if they want. Greetings, friend. Finally, I can watch regularly again. Finals done. Oh, yes. They can still go for the core. We've got to be careful. Hey, Remush, thank you, man. It's good to have you back. I'm gonna go for um, Nexus Frenzy. I knew it. Dirty Lunaris! Where are you going? I knew it! Guys, only rogues do it from behind. Don't be like that, Lunara. Trying to move through a tank. A deer. How do you think that goes? <laughs> nice. God, it's it's not game yet though. It, it. We should just try to end it. Come on, I've got them baited so hard here. Oh baby, baby, yeah, just in time for Hammer HL. Oh, we should just finish it. Okay, we can't anymore. Unless we like, get a kill or something. There we go. Solo Chen Maul is okay. Rhaegar's coming back though. As, as, as right of a choice as it was, it's not right anymore. Still got Z. Might have to help. Might have. I need to go get a fountain. God, this game, bros. I'll put mines here so they can't back doors easily from some kind of random location. Oh wow, they killed Tychus! Good job! Yes! Yes! That's what we need. And they got two on the run and there's two dead, which means only Lunara's missing. Lunara somewhere. Is she trying to backdoor again? By herself? Alright, I'll, I'll push bot lane a little bit so we get some vision. And then uh, I'm gonna put some mines here. Just in case, you know, for uh, Lunara. God, this game! Yeah, they're going for it. Retreat. Someone should end it, though. Okay, they're they're all in. It. My heart stoning in vision was enough for them to stop. 
which means they are now fighting a 4v4 and once I get there it's gonna be better now Li Ming needs some help oh my god Okay, good. Good stuff. Liming did die though. We got the immortal, so now we only need to stop the all-in. Yes, there we go. And their last chance. There is absolutely no chance for them to win, except with a backdoor. And I know that, and Lunara knows that, so here we go again. And she can do it. She can do it. She can't do it. Moving through a tank doesn't go very well. <laughs> Second attempt. Oh my god, so exciting. <laughs> Roadkill. That's what this video is going to get called. GG oh. <laughs> oh I'm so glad that I had hyper thrusters and not first aid. See ya Bumby. Perfect connection quality. Whew Man. Well, that's good choices by Lunara to try. So, just to reiterate, hypercooling engines, you start with rule number one, my rule number one for hammer. Don't siege unless you've got hyperthrusters available. Secondly, you have hyperthrusters available more often. This is a tooltip bug, it's actually 15, so you can do it every 15 seconds. Which means more sieging up, and sieging up gives you bonus versus monster damage. Uh, versus non-heroes. So, more damage on the immortal. I want to do that as often as possible while still being able to quickly press C to unseach and run away from something like a Tyrael, Devouring Maul and so on. I went Giant Killer because it is the safest. You can go for First Strike which is more immortal damage but it's very easy to get it poked away by anything that Zagara does or Lunara because you need to not be attacked for 5 seconds. I went for Focus Attack because it's probably the new best level 4 talent. And this one also best for Immortal. This one was just to stay alive. If I could redo it, I would go for either Executioner, Hover Siege, or Graduating Range. And Nexus Frenzy is the best. Uh, at 20. Unless you got BFG, of course. Then you want Orbital BFG. You shall not pass! I didn't like Hammer when I tried her out. But seeing you play her makes me want to play her. Nice. I think you'll, you. you'll know a second hero I after Gazla. I just Gazla. played Sergeant Hammer on battlefield and enemy core died exactly at the time your enemies died. Pretty epic picture on both nice. monitors seeing basically the same image. High five, Nictor. Cool. We just did a double team. Oh, good point. Greg721 said there is a um, 11 second cooldown on your thrusters because you're using it for four. Good point. Right when it's done, 11 seconds to the next. And it used to be 26. So, it's not a halving of the cooldown. Can we say that? It's not really half the cooldown. It's going from 26 to 11. So that's like 60% better or something. Fifty-eight percent reduction. Does that make any sense or not? You can say the downtime was reduced by 58. Thanks yeah, to okay. Your YouTube channel. 
It helped me catch up on some missed games while traveling this past weekend. Keep up to the awesome work. My pleasure, Adaskun. We're very happy to hear that, both me and my YouTube manager and my dog, Logan. Ariel just missed her blind. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> 